Hey everyone, it's the SNES Knight here for my promised Persona 4 animation recap and what I think about the series so far. As of right now, there's about six episodes out, and uh, I must say I'm liking the I'm liking it. The animation is really good. I think the music spots and everything, the music keys are spot on. Um, I really like the voice acting. As usual, they do a tremendously fantastic job. Uh, you know, it's really abridged. Uh, if you really want to get the full experience, you definitely need should play the game. You need to play the game. Um, so a lot of it is like a bridge. A lot of the uh, dialogue is cut out. A lot of some scenes are cut out. But definitely the really important stuff is there. Um, it, I don't know how else to describe it. The social links, it's kind of weird how they do it. But, you know, it's there and stuff. And the way he gets his uh, S-Link bonds and stuff. It's pretty interesting to see. Uh, I like how everything that he does, sort of like three and a half break thing. It reflects like you, it shows you his stats, like his courage and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, I don't really mind his name being like you. Uh, what is it, Narakami, something like that. Um, I don't really mind that so much. Um, I kind of like the way how he's like usually quiet all the time. He's pretty smooth too with that last episode, the Yukiko. Uh, I must say that was pretty impressive. Um, you know, I like like I said, I like the animation. It's really good. Love the opening and closing, and I love how in the first episode they. Uh, Used the original opening from the game and then made the new opening the ending and then they switched it in the next episode uh it's just really good it's really fun to watch you know there's some action I, there's some action in it you know there's some really good story in it nice comedy it's, it's all well balanced and i really really like the way it's coming out um i think it's kind of lame how when they go into the tv world how they don't have weapons with them they just you know run around and use their personas uh I think it would have been a lot cooler to see it, and I know I know a lot of people make fun of the fact, like, well, how did they bring weapons in there, and the way they did decide to bring weapons uh, in there from the uh, game. I know it's pretty ridiculous, but, you know, I still wanted to see some sword playing around and stuff like that. But, uh, basically, that's what I think so far. Um, I've seen pretty much all of my favorite characters, because Naoto's already been out. I love how they're talking about Rise already, um, how it, it really makes her feel like she's a local celebrity. And there are some things that they also added in, like Yukiko's bird, that's sort of symbolic, and it sort of helps, you know, um, sort of helps the character development a little bit. So I really like that, and you know, really, there's nothing I don't really like about this except, uh, let's see, what don't I really like about this? Um, I guess the way they face their shadows. I think it's the only thing that's like, eh, I'm a little offset about that, but you know. Other than that, it's just like a minor nitpicking. It's not the way I would have done it, but it's still pretty good. You know, he still has the wild card thing, which I was actually surprised. That's pretty cool. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say for right now. It's really good. Uh, even if you've never played the game, I still I still say you should go check it out. Uh, that, again, that's this is the uh, Persona 4 animation. Uh, I can't wait for the Golden and the World Tournament game to come out. And, no, well, that's pretty much it. And I'll do another video like this when... You know, the whole thing is over, all 25 episodes, I believe. Once they're all done and out, then I'll go ahead and talk about everything, you know, like, all together. It'll be a bit longer of a video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.